Hey there, it's Anonymous Tea where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 hello everyone. Hello YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today. Today we are talking about Juan Dixon and Robin apparently marrying again, you guys. And um, this is interesting. This is very interesting. So there was a People exclusive, which I will get to in a little bit here, uh, that basically breaks down some details and some information that, you know, they got married, that the wedding apparently is going to air on the Real Housewives of Potomac season seven finale. And a lot of people have questions, you guys. A lot of people have questions. Is this legit? Is this legal? Is this real? Uh, you know, allegedly, apparently, they got a marriage license a couple of years back. People want to know, did they get married so that Robin does not have to testify against Juan Dixon? Because, as you guys know, he is being sued for knowing about and doing nothing about a sexual catfishing scandal involving one of his former coaches, so people were wondering if this was the reason. People are wondering if it is there some type of financial reason. Because as you guys know, remember, Robin had some tax issues and things of that nature. And Juan basically told her, well, you're on your own. Uh, because remember, Juan blamed um, Robin for their financial woes. Because remember, she got caught up with an investor that she thought was going to invest their money, invest Juan's millions, and they like lost practically everything as a result of that. So I think there was still some resentment there and also some people are speculating did they do this for a storyline as you guys know last week was the taping of the real housewives of potomac season seven reunion you guys right so those are the times you know when it kind of sets up okay based off of your performance at the reunion based off of what the reaction is and everything else that's going to determine whether or not you get your contract renewed for the following season to come back. And there was rumors throughout the season that because of the scandal um, involving Juan's former coach, that it was highly likely that they were not coming back, that they were not returning, because it was rumors that, you know, for a few seasons now, that Robin was at risk of being on the chopping block, right? But each time her friendship with Giselle really saved her for the most part, you guys. But ultimately, you know, this will they or won't they get married ever again between Robin and Juan has gone on really for like five seasons, you guys. It's really gone on for like five seasons um, as far as the nature of their relationship, right? And so now they finally gotten married, you guys. After, you know, several of their cast members, you know, said that it was going to happen and never, never, ever land. And, and I'm just hoping that they did this for the right reasons, that they didn't do this for financial reasons. They didn't do this to simply keep a check to stay on the show. I hope it is for real and genuine love between these two. And it is not for these reasons that Juan Dixon said in the infamous season two hot mic. So let's take a listen for those of you who need a refresher. I'm, I'm too old for this shit. I'm tired of living like this. Do you want it to be like that? Huh? Do you want it to be like that? I wouldn't like to share my life with somebody. If I didn't have going God, I'd be gone a person. So that was the infamous season two clip where Juan basically was questioning, you know, what he was doing. It was a hot mic that was captured by the producer. And basically Juan, for those of you who didn't hear, basically said he was too old for this bleep. I'm tired of living like this. And the producer asked, do you want to be together? Do you want to get back together? And Juan's all like, huh? And he's like, he wants to share his life with somebody and that if he didn't have Corey and Carter, their two sons, he would be gone already and that he, quote unquote, wants something more. And this is the same Juan Dixon who went overseas and left Robin and their two kids and played in Europe and basically was talking about how this woman in Europe, while he was overseas playing basketball, was, quote unquote, the love of his life, he was. So for those reasons alone, for somebody on national television uh, to say something like that and also say that another woman is the love of your life while you're playing overseas and away from your, you know, two kids and everything else, I would never marry that person ever again.
Are you kidding me? I personally would never. But, you know, here we are. And, and it is what it is, right? But let's get into the People article, you guys. So now that you guys have a little bit of a background, right, as to um, this particular union. So it says the following from People. It says the Real Housewives of Potomac star and the former NBA player have tied the knot a second time. People can exclusively reveal the Real Housewives of Potomac star, 43, and the former NBA player, 44, who share sons, Corey, 14, and Carter, 13, have tied the knot for a second time. People can exclusively reveal. Three sources confirm that their happy news is revealed in the upcoming finale episode of Real Housewives of Potomac 7th season, which will feature footage from Dixon's Big Day, which was taped after the show wrap and did not include Robin's fellow Potomac Housewives. According to insiders, Robin will open up more about the intimate nuptials at the reunion special, which was taped last Thursday. Thursday. Representatives from Bravo and the Dixons had no comment. Back in August 2020, people confirmed the Dixons had obtained a marriage license at the Howard County Clerk's Office in Maryland. They had until February to say, I do, per the county clerk said. Their wedding was a hot topic this season on Real Housewives of Potomac with Robin telling her co-stars, Giselle, Karen, Ashley, Candace, Mia, Dr. Wendy, and other friends of the franchise, such as Sharice and Jacqueline, during a recent trip to Riviera Maya, Mexico, that she was planning to get wed away from the gaze of reality TV cameras. I didn't even know if I won a wedding. I don't know if I need one like a traditional wedding, she said, explaining instead that she wanted to have a private ceremony with just her, Juan, and the kids. If I'm going to keep it super simple, it'll just be the four of us. We're not telling anyone. It's literally just ceremony and that's it. We don't need no cake, no reception, nothing. She later told her assistant, adding in confessional, that the thought of an actual wedding and the pomp and circumstances that come with that doesn't excite me. It just feels more special to do it privately without worrying about everyone else and how they will perceive it. And, um, you know, previously she said that she and Juan planned on getting married in July 2022 when they were in Jamaica for her brother's wedding, but sources tell people that that never happened. It is also clear, unclear whether or not they signed a prenup agreement uh, because we saw that Real Housewives of Potomac viewers were pushing for Robin to have one sign one with an infidelity clause and everything in earlier episodes this season. Another reason, personally, why I wouldn't have, you know, married Juan again. But nonetheless, um, and it was only when Juan agreed to hammer one out with her that Robin said she felt ready to proceed down the aisle. The mother of two noting that a weight has been lifted off her chest. Now I just want to start planning our wedding, she said on the show. Like, I can't wait. I am excited. Robin and Juan were high school sweethearts who first married in 2005 before divorcing in 2012. The pair famously continued to live together and even share a bed for the sake of their family. Cameras capturing their unique relationship on the first season of Real Housewives of Potomac, which premiered in January of 2016. My kids, they don't even realize we are divorced. Robin recalled a video for Bravo's Daily Dish. They didn't know that we had gone through a rough time. They found out a lot of stuff about our relationship and our family from the show because their friends are telling them. So then they come and tell us, so why this? So why that? So I'd have to tell them we're good, aren't we? We're good. Don't worry about that. I would find my castmates or the fans were more judgmental about my situation than us, she added. It's like we understood it. It's not for everyone to understand, but it is life for us. The pair slowly rebuilt their bond over the years with Robin revealing during their season four that their relationship had turned a corner and they were, quote, doing it like bunny rabbits. And being on reality TV and facing strife, including their well-documented financial issues, also helped bond them. I will be honest, if Juan and I were not broken, honestly, if we weren't on the show, we probably would not be together today, Robin told people at BravoCon 2022 in October. I say that because having to come together when you're financially struggling and having to support one another for the sake of your kids, it is more so we wanted each other to get to a better place because we have kids. If we had divorced and we had been in a great place financially, he would have been off. I don't know. In California, living his life, Robin added. I'd be off in New York living my life. We would not have been forced to come together to try to make things work. But going through those financial struggles and living together and supporting each other and watching each other get better and grow and establish careers, that actually helped bring us back together. 
The backlash their unique relationship received from outside viewers also brought them closer together. Being on the show, especially early on, we faced so much criticism and critique, and it was just so much outside noise and negativity. There's people not understanding who we are and why we do what we do, and it made us kind of bond together even more, Robin recalled. We realized that we had to have each other's back even more, so it's kind of funny how things have evolved in life, but it's really kind of what I believe. Juan eventually popped the question in December 2019 during a holiday-themed rap party for season five of the Bravo reality show. Sweeter the second time around, thank you everyone who loved, supported, and rooted and prayed for Juan and I. Robin wrote on Instagram for the occasion, we truly appreciate all the love and congratulatory wishes as we embark on hashtag Dixon's part two, um, which means Dixon's part two. For their second engagement, Juan, who is the current head basketball coach for Coppin State University in Baltimore, gifted Robin an oversized ring by jeweler Nicole Rose Copeland, and the non-traditional ring features an emerald-cut pink morganite center with a double diamond um, halo surrounding the rose-tinted rock. An untraditional relationship calls for a non-traditional ring. Robin explained on Instagram, I told a little birdie that if Ron ever proposed, I didn't want a diamond ring. That didn't work out too well the first time. I fell in love with the peak Morganite stone because I wanted something with significance and meaning. Morganite represents unconditional love, something that our relationship exhibits and has relied upon. As for why Robin and Juan waited nearly two years to get married, she previously has said that she postponed plans for a first wedding due to the COVID-19 pandemic. She and Juan also put their money into building their dream home, which they moved into August of 2021. Looking back, Robin told the Daily Dish in April 2022 that divorce ultimately saved her and Juan's marriage. I really think that happened for us. She said, if we were still married, I would absolutely hate him. Uh, so there is that, you guys. So a lot to unpack, um, but that pretty much is it. You know, it kind of highlights everything, the highlights, the lowlights between Juan and Robin. So, um, you know, hopefully this works out for them. Hopefully this was done for the right reasons. And, you know, this isn't to just stay on a reality show. This isn't to, you know, not testify against Juan on this lawsuit and everything is Gucci, right? <laughs> Everything's Gucci. Everything is good to go, right? Um, so there is that. So let me know your guys' thoughts are in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post the content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.